Hi everyone, it's Sonia here from Growing Craft and I'm back with another tutorial. So, as I have mentioned earlier also that whenever I do crafting, I always keep A4 size, uh, sorry, 12 by 12 scrapbook papers which I can, uh, on which I can use my uh, leftover material and I can do, use, reuse them for uh, my projects. So, just to show you, I'm not sure if you have seen like uh, I've done water coloring on this then I use the leftover modeling paste in this so modeling paste usually tend to dry over the time if it's not kept in a good container and I didn't had one at that point of time so I had to use it so like this then something this was done by my daughter so this water coloring and I kept this paper I really liked it and Maybe I'll use it in some of my future projects. Then I have this one. Okay, so that's my daughter and she remembers what she all did with this paper. Mara, do you want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. So she's sitting next to me and uh, working with some stamps and new ink pads. Okay. So these are like few of those papers like in this I've used uh, shimmer sprays from one of the Indian brands and these papers are just fab so like while using my spray pens I keep this at the base so that the leftover is not on my table but on this paper and I can reuse them so I think these are a very good way of using your papers and not to waste your material. So from one of these kind of pages, I have uh, taken these three tags, size paper and I'm going to make card with this. So let's get To start with, I've already pre-cut my cardstock in three different sizes, the single sheet of cardstock and now I'm going to apply a coat of gesso on it. The reason of applying gesso is I want to give them a nice base so that I can work with different mediums on it. and just to cover my pages properly so that it doesn't ruin my base, the cardstock. Once I'm done with Once my gesso and my texture paste is done and my tags are now completely dry, now I am going to assemble my three pieces and make a single card. Now to join these three pages, I am using masking tape which is used by car painters usually and these are easy available at any local store. So I am just going to stick two pages together and just make sure that when I open my card, I can see uh, the texture paste on the top layer. So I'm going to stick it accordingly.
Now it's time to play with colors. I am using the leftover piece of my cardstock before applying my colors to it. So for the first tag, the smaller uh, the smaller one, I'm using chalk paint from Crafty Scrappers. I was very keen on using chalk paint because I've always seen people using chalk paints on ceramic paints and canvases and all those things and I really wanted to try it on my card and I love the effect of it. I love the use of it. And as I have already mentioned in my earlier videos also, I am a big fan of Crafty Scrappers supplies because you just need a bit of it and your work projects are like done. And those are really, really, really pocket friendly. So this is a must try for it. Now for my second page, I am using uh, their dye shimmer paints. And uh, this was a little quick one to do and spray and it's ready now for my backing i just realized that i'm just coloring up my front which is not the back one and which is going to be visible when i'm opening my flap so i'm just going to spray the random sh shimmer spray paint on my pages and let them dry completely once my coloring part is done i'm going to use the alphabet stamp and do my sentiments cutting i'm not using any particular big bold stamp or quotation for it because i wanted to give it a very casual and a very uh, simple look so i'm just going to stamp these alphabets use my watercolor and do the fussy cutting While doing the stamping, if you are sure that you are going to use some liquid paints or watercolor or water or any liquid mediums on it, make sure you use permanent ink pads only. The permanent ink pads really help that it does not smudge with your any of the work which you do on the top of it. <laughs> 